Right, okay, so technically this video won't be too long. It's about a dinosaur game, a brand new dinosaur game that I realistically don't know much about at the moment and I've been trying to research as much as I can about it, as well as the fact that this only touches the surface of what this game is and if you want to see a full in-depth video of the game let me know in the comments below and I'll do one. Anyways today we're talking about Historia, another brand new dinosaur game that is based off of evolutionary survival. Anyways only 70% of you guys watching are not subscribed to the channel so if you do enjoy this video feel free to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Anyways if you do enjoy this feel free to like and subscribe and yeah let's get right into Historia. So let's get into what this game is. What is this upcoming dinosaur game and how is it unique? So Historia is going to be a survival evolutionary game that does not focus on favourites. Players will start with two pathways and much to discover for themselves and down those pathways where they branch from dead ends and secrets hidden amongst three Mesozo periods from the Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous. You evolve through those periods from those two starting branches and you can branch further to some awesome life. The game will be a multiplayer game so you are not alone in this world. You are surviving and evolving with other players. The devs say they are not just building a dinosaur game, but one with multiple diapsid families that roam the land, haunted the waters, and soared the heavens. Our pride comes from the paleontological evidence and researchers that make sure that everything within Historia is accurate according to current knowledge. Plants, creatures, and special locations will fill a player's journal with endless knowledge. Players must decide on their paths without being guided and must remember what is healthy and what may harm. One must never become complacent within Historia. Essentially, I asked one of the developers who is awesome by the way, the developers for this game answered my questions really nicely and they took the time out of the day to do so, so shout out to you Shotgun Punk, you're awesome, thank you for answering my questions. Anyways, they said Historia is not only a survival game, but an evolutionary based game. Our goal is to create a lineage that spans from the very first to those that survived in the end with everything in between. Players can adapt to their environment to become specialised to that area or explore new areas to gain better perks. Essentially speaking, you start in the Triassic era as a choice of three creatures and you will then work through evolving yourself, eventually becoming the biggest and baddest dinosaurs all the way in the Cretaceous period. Some branches are dead ends, but there is the option to go back on yourself and then find the open paths. Historia is planned to have one era at a time, Dawn and are currently working on the Triassic era. The concept of this game is very interesting and unique. You have to evolve through the time and you have to stand the test of time especially. You can fill in any niche from the soaring of the heavens to in the water to on the land and anything in between. I think this is a really interesting game. I think it offers a fresh gameplay perspective compared to what there is from the Isle, Beast of Bermuda and Path of Titans where you only just grow up and it's a dinosaur survival. This is everything in the Mesozoic including dinosaurs which I think is amazing. So let's get into the map for the game and well when I say map it's actually the map that I'm talking about right now is the Triassic map because they're currently working on just the Triassic map because that's going to be the first one that's released and they'll release the new updates periodically introducing new eras within them. Firstly, I did ask one of the developers about this and will essentially read out what they have just said and go into some detail about the map as well showcasing some images that I've been able to grab and show you the layout of the map because we haven't got any specific in-game photos yet apart from one. Anyways, let's get into what the developer has said. We are planning to have multiple types of maps for players to explore. Currently we are working on one large and one small for players who like either. There will be spaces for both freshwater life, marine life and anything in between. For the maps and the game in general, we want to go as realistically as possible. Players won't see grass until the Cretaceous. Plants, biomes, AI and even the playables themselves are all from the specific era that they are in. What is said here is essentially that, well, you have to progress through one era to get to the other and then to the other. So you have to start off in the Triassic and if you want to make it to the Cretaceous, you have to survive and evolve 
all the way up to there. The map that they are currently working on, like I've said, is the Triassic era, and they are working on two for that. However, I'm pretty sure the only one that's been showcased is the big one. So, looking at the images, we see one central island with many smaller islands around it, from atolls and another volcanic island. The island sees a very large volcano in the centre of it, well, on one end of it, and the other end has a mountain range, and then in between, got essentially a valley. Now, hopefully, these mountains or these volcanoes will erupt every now and then, because that would be incredible in a real world simulation. But anyways, here is the layout of the map um, with the large central island in the center and some barrier islands around it. This is where most life will take place with creatures evolving on the main island and sea life evolving underwater and taking advantage of the creatures that go out into the water in search for new landmasses. One last thing before I stop here regarding the map, it seems there is a tar pit in the map because one of the pictures that was shown is either quicksand or a tar pit. Either way, Eo Raptor is trapped in there. Right, so there are 300 creatures in this game or so. That's what the developers have said. Or 300 creatures spanning all the eras. Not just dinosaurs. This includes air, sea, uh, Rosuchians, crocodiles, you know, you name it. It's probably in this game. There will be dinosaur forms, Rosuchians, crocodiles and their ancestors, aquatic life and of course pterosaurs and maybe very early birds if you are lucky. Anyway, so the roster hasn't been fully announced. They actually have something in their Discord server where you can guess and try and predict what the future dinosaurs for the eras are. And if you're right, they will announce it. But other than that, let's get actually into what has been announced so far. So firstly, we have the mighty Spinosaurus Egypticus, Pressosuchus, Yichi, Eupachia, Tanistrophius, Mixosaurus, which I think looks adorable, Perilidus, Eoraptor, Coelacanth, and Eudimorphodon. And well, I'm pretty sure that's what it is so far. Please let me know if I've missed some, and then I'll cover them in the next video I make about this game. But yes, like I've said, there's 34 creatures for the Triassic era, and 300 creatures overall, which I am guessing most of which will be in the Cretaceous era, because that's when life in the dinosaurian eras or the Mesozoic era was more diverse. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about Historia. This game, I think, looks incredible. Well, it's going to be something that I'm going to keep a keen eye on and make some future videos about the updates about the game. Let me know if you want me to do more videos about this game because it's really interesting. I like the idea of a survival evolutionary game where the only way you can progress to other creatures is by evolving in an evolutionary tree. I think that's awesome. But yeah, let me know what you think about this game and I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully if you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day.